We screen for prostate cancer with a blood test called prostate-specific antigen, or PSA. PSA has a good and not so good aspects to it. One of the problems with PSA is that anything going on in the prostate can make the PSA elevated. Enlargement of the prostate, inflammation, infections, and it turns out that lots of men have a little focus of cancer in their prostate which may never actually threaten their life. And these are now considered very low risk cancers. But with PSA testing, we were detecting some of those and some of those men were probably having unnecessary treatment for a cancer that maybe wasn't really life threatening. On the flip side, there are cancers that maybe don't make a lot of PSA, and that leads us to sometimes missing cancers. I don't think we should discard PSA testing. I think there is real value to PSA testing because we have witnessed a drop in death rates in this country over the last 15 years. Those of us in this field have felt that rather than throw the test out, we should just be smarter about how we interpret it. A better approach, I think, would be to use the PSA to identify people at particularly high risk of prostate cancer. And then rather than proceeding directly to a blind ultrasound guided biopsy, would be to go on to an imaging test. Using an MRI ultrasound fusion device, we can do a better job of finding the cancers we want to find and avoiding finding the cancers that are not risky to a man's life. There are several ways that people are trying to improve on PSA or come up with new ways of testing new markers. There are a few of them that are right now in clinical trials and even in clinical use. The question then with this PSA controversy is who should be screened? Uh, current recommendations are to start screening at age 55 and screen every other year for a man at average risk for prostate cancer up until age 70. A very large clinical trial in Europe showed that those men benefit in terms of improved life expectancy if they were screened. Certainly men who are at higher risk for prostate cancer will benefit from early screening. Additional patients that might think about early screening, African American race, increased risk for getting prostate cancer. So I try and tailor it to the patient. 25 years ago, about one in five men diagnosed with prostate cancer at that time had advanced disease. That number is now one in 25. And that's due to prostate-specific antigen, PSA testing, finding cancers at an earlier stage. So let's not discard PSA, let's use it in conjunction with these other new tests that are coming out.